Hello there, how are you doing? I'm out on a camping holiday with oldest friend and I bought something special for us to play with that's been sent to me very kindly by Dr. Otek. So we thought it was a pizza at first, Dr. Utka. Anyway, it's a metal detector as you'll have seen from the title and credits anyway. This is what comes in the box. So we've got some gubbins and a battery, detection plate, some kind of shaft, <laughs> some kind of, I don't know, maybe that's it, yeah, maybe that's for your findings, and then all the other bits and pieces. So I'll get this assembled, look at the instructions and so on, and then we'll take it for a little, uh, little test run. So in this 10 second time lapse video, that took exactly 10 minutes to film and that's how long it took to assemble. So I didn't think that was too bad. Now, the instructions on here, they're not massively clear about how to assemble it. It just basically shows you an image of where everything is. So you do have to kind of work things out and between oldest friend and I, we got that done. As I say, within the 10 minutes. So what we've got here is we've got the plate connected through the poles, I've wrapped the cable around the pole so it doesn't sort of like swing about everywhere, into the box. Now the battery that came with it does work. I did buy one just in case. So the screen comes on, I've taken all the films off and so on. Don't know what any of these things do yet. We've got the hand grip on and then the arm thingy and I've attached the headphones too because it does come with headphones. What this also comes with is a nice little, um, just tuck you between the legs, a nice little shovel, right, which has got a protective covering on, uh, and it's a shovel and, you know, kind of digger. So that's all right, and it's solid. Yeah, solid. So that's a nice touch. So we'll just slot that in there for now, as is. And then I'm assuming this is a finding bag. This is to put your treasure. <laughs> yeah, or is it a jump key? So, oh, I think it's like a little carry bag to put this in. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, so you've got a little carry bag for your, uh, for your metal detector. Cool, nice little bag that. Right, let's go and have a play with this. Right, so just so I can get a feel for this, I've put a bulldog clip down there, 10p there, 2p there, and that hook there. And I'm just going to kind of use this and run it over those, just so I can kind of get used to the settings, and then we'll dig them in somewhere and test them a bit deeper. Are you doing it round here? I've put them out already, they're just on the floor here. Ah, right, right. That up. It shows you on here what it is. So. Okay, so what I've found is you won't be able to hear this, but you'll be able to see it flashing on the screen. As I run this over there, can you see that one flashing? Then as I run it over that one, a different one flashes. Then as I run it over that one, so it's showing you that there's different types of metals. So it's giving you an indicator of what might be under the ground. So what I've done is just in the area there, we buried one of those items that we're playing with. Just gonna check the machine out and see if it finds it. And it did. So let's go play with it. Oldest friend is over there on the dunes. So let's go and see if we can find anything in these dunes. I'm only walking up to where he is and we're just going to go and have a, a look. Although I have turned it on just in case. You never know, do you? never know people might have dropped some money down here. Yeah, I keep finding these bits of cable that have got wiring. Oh yeah. Tent pegs. 
<laughs> the other little bits I've been finding are bits of wire that have got uh, cabling, met metaling. So I've been doing this for about 15 minutes, didn't find them obviously because they were on the surface. But I've dug this hole here and found a fork. And then at this hole here, I found what I thought was something, in, oh it looks like something flashed, but no it's just a squashed bottle cap. Then here, what did I find here? Oh yeah, found this like little nut thing. Looks like a top of a screw. And then I've already mentioned the bits of wire and stuff at the other holes. So what we can say is we know this works. I'm quite enjoying myself and having a bit of fun. So thank you to Dr. Otek. I put this on the screen for sending me this. I'm going to go off and have a little bit more fun with this now. Uh, yeah, thanks for sending me it. And um, I'll put some links in the pinned comment and description so that you can check it out for yourself if you want to. I haven't got right into the full instructions on this yet, but it's got various settings that you can play with to do with depth and so on. But the great thing is, I'm a total beginner. I've never done this before. And if I can find bits of junk on the beach and possibly something that might have value at some point just by getting it out of the box and playing with it, then you could too. And that I think is a good quality in, uh, you know, about something like this. If it's so simple to set up and just go off and do things with, then it works for anybody. And then the more experienced people who know how all the settings work and everything, they can play, with it, play about with it and set it to how they want it. So thanks for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio. So I've collapsed it all down and it's all gone nicely into that little bag. As I say, thank you, Dr. Otek. And oldest friend for being a bag holder. <laughs>